Uh, yeah, look, tracking along well. Um, hopefully be ready for round one, that's our aim, and we go from there. Do you see close to being back with the main group, or has he... Yeah, probably uh, maybe next week. We can't, it just depends on his strength and all that, so the medical people are going through that, but hopefully next week. Is he pretty much the only guy who won't be able to play that um, Yeah, at this stage, there might be one or two others that have been late comers into the program. Um, we'll have a look at probably early they won't play in the NAB, maybe the, the last one, or um, the one against West Coast late, yeah. Um, and Anthony Morabito, has he any chance to play a couple of stages or are you nursing through? Oh, at this stage, uh, we haven't really talked about that. That's a good question. As a match committee, so um, with the medical people, so we'll probably sit down over the, the next week or so. I think there's two weeks to go. So we'll see him train for the two weeks and then uh, we'll discuss that. How's um, Colin Sylvia going? Is he training with the main group? <coughs> yeah, he's back out there now. Had a slight hiccup um, with a leg injury, but he's fine. He's uh, back out there and training really well and looking good. So you expect him to be right for the NAP Cup as well? Or? Yeah, yeah. Well, he, he won, like I said, maybe the first one, but um, you know we'll weigh it up from there. But he's fine. He's looking good. Mizungu looks like he's away from the main group at the moment too. Though, yeah. Yeah, a little bit of backing him off, and he's he's pulled up a little bit sore um, from because he's done everything leading into Christmas, and then after that week or so, he was flying, and he just pulled up a bit sore. So yeah, he he'll probably be back into training next week. You look like you've got umpires out there today, so you're probably going to do some match practice. Morabito seems to be warming up. Would he be involved in that today? Um, no, not at this stage. What do you aim to get out of the pre-season this year, given the, the late finish last year? Oh, look, again, it'll be minutes into our players, and um, you know we're always uh, looking to improve on the game plan. So you're always tinkering with little things and trying a few things, and that's what the NAB Cup's for. And but especially to get minutes into players, and, and we'll be hell bent on that. Is that what the match practice today does as well? Yeah, yeah, that, that adds a little bit to us. Um, I think it's four by ten minutes, so 40 minutes. So uh, you'll get a little bit into the players just leading into the NAB Cup, yeah. It's a bit more excitement, I guess, at the moment club, given you're starting to play some games now. Yeah, it is. The, the players are really enthusiastic at this stage about uh, hitting the season running and making sure, you know, we've got a tough one first up against Collingwood, um, you know, Friday night, which is great for us. and. I think the players are really looking forward to that challenge. Uh, so everything leading into that, uh, we must do well and um, get the execute it going forward. How's Pav going, Scott? Yeah, look, since I've been here, which is only a few years, um, best pre-season I've seen him have. So he's done everything. He's, his body's sound. He's looking good. So touch wood, he, he's uh, going to be leading into round one uh, in the best shape for, for the couple of years I've been here. Optimistic that you get a better season out of him because he basically didn't have a pre-season last year and he had early season surgery as well. Yeah, well that's right. He, his pre-season was interrupted and then he got suspended too. I think uh, he came back, he missed six or seven games and then got suspended for a few weeks again. So very interrupted and and for a, a bloke of his size and, and age you need that, that free run into a season. He's had that now and uh, hopefully we can get some runs on the board. So what, what's the, what is the plan for Morabito? Not playing today, um, do you hope to get NAB Challenge games in terms of some point during the pre-season? Well, as I said, Duff, we, we really as a match committee haven't discussed that with the medical and, and had the tick off and all that, so we'll do that in the coming weeks. But um, look, it would be great for the kid, but like I said, we, we haven't discussed that as a match committee and that's the, the, you know, where we're at at the moment. How's Gumbledon going? Really well, really well. He's another one who's... Uh, I don't think he's missed a session. Um, might have come off half a session just because we were looking after him because he hasn't missed one. And um, he's been terrific. So it be an inter interesting uh, inclusion to us, really. Can you, you know? see that working with Pavlich going well, as you said? Yeah, well, it, as I was saying to someone earlier, it's, it's funny, over the pre-season, everyone goes, who's going to play? How's the mix going to look? But, you know, over the pre-season, round one's really pick, it picks itself. You know, after the pre-season, players normally fill a fill, fill position, and uh, that will happen again with either Gumbleton, you know, the way the forward line will look, the way the midfield looks, the, the way the back line looks. So that normally fills itself. Is this the most competition 
Have you seen spots, do you think, since you've been at Fremantle? Uh, right now, yeah. yeah. Our first year was quite interesting. Talking about with Ross earlier, we only had about eight or nine on the track um, pre-Christmas and then afterwards we had about 18, 20. This year we've had in the, the 30s for most of the season, pre-season, so, which has been great. So it's always going to be competitive for spots.